Hello again. Let's take another look at some of the exercises that we can do with the alphabet deck in DeckHive. So first off here I've got just a few letters on the table um, spelling apples as you can see and so we might want to have a theme for this exercise and so we're going to say let's focus on fruit and see if we can identify some other fruits that we can spell in a crossword form from this first uh, word as a starting point. So we might ask the person we're working with here to open up the letters and find some letters that they recognize they, they can identify a word that they can create which is a fruit and they simply drag those cards onto the table to spell the word uh, that they wanted to create and then we carry on from there in traditional crossword format to try and create as many different fruits as we can uh, on the table. A second exercise might be where we've put a random selection of uh, cards onto the table already in a matrix form like this and then we give people a limited amount of time to come up with as many words as they can using just these letters. So they can write them down on a piece of paper where they are and then we can compare the list and see how many each person's got and of course then try to form the words using the cards by moving them around on the screen to see whether those are indeed words and correctly spelt. So a very simple exercise but can be a bit of fun in a group situation. Another game that we can play either one-to-one -one or with a group again, but for a small group, would be a game of pairs. So we've turned all the cards over here, but what we have is um, a pairing exercise where we've got the uppercase and lowercase versions of the same letters. So the student in this case would turn over a couple of random cards. and They've not made a pair, so they'll turn them back again. And then the next student would turn over a couple of cards again. No pair again. And eventually when somebody does find a pair that matches, then we can move those cards over to the side and show that here we have the uppercase and lowercase h's together and carry on along those lines. Uh, and then one final exercise just to share here might be as simple as choosing a random card. So we would turn all the cards over, scroll down until someone says stop, and then we'll just take one card, put it over here, and then we will turn that card over to reveal that it's an I. And then we'll ask the person to think about, or the group, to think of as many objects as they can that begin with that letter within one minute or 30 seconds or something like that. So again, getting familiar with the different letters uh, and the words that are related to that. So very simple. And as always, if you have any other ideas that you think uh, would work well with the people you work with, we'd love to hear them.